Vicarage Road. 3-2 the final score there this afternoon. Started well enough for Watford. 1-0 after 12 minutes. One of the new breed, teenage midfielder Anthony McNamee with a fantastic goal there. Remember that name. But 1-1 just before half-time. Gillingham back on terms. Ify Anora, who played a big part in the result with the cross. Chris Hope with the header. You can just never count the Jills out. Watford got themselves back in front 10 minutes into the second half and at 2-1 you'd imagine they would hang on to that, Robbie. Yeah, it's an old teammate of mine, Marcus Gale, does well down the byline and crosses in for Alan Nielsen and strange enough, Nielsen and Gale are two players on the transfer list at the moment. But again, you would expect them to, once they got their nose in front, to hold on. But um, again, it was some iffy defending and iffy and all <laughs> benefits from it, you'll see here. Gets away really too easily, sets it up for his strike partner, Paul Shaw, and it's a, it's a clever finish from Shaw. The game that's not good defending for from Watford. Yeah, so back to 2-2, two, two. and then just five minutes from the end, this happens. I mean, this is lack of organisation. You know, it's a set piece, and always three in the six-yard box, and they, they get punished. And 3-2 um, is a, a bad, bad result for, for Watford. And a bad result really for Luca Viali.